Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. In this reading, we are going to get you some important general messages. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important general messages for Gemini today. Nice. Ooh. Wait a minute. I fell on the floor. Five of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This for me, you know, the sun was the first card that came out. So this is a very positive, happy card. Um, hmm. and I feel like a lot of you are possibly starting to see things, see your life more positively or it could be an indication of something positive coming into your life after some sadness, difficulties with the five of cups here around first we've got the queen of pentacles uh, Gemini, this could be you making more money or um, attaining financial stability security and also we've got the full here so this is a general reading can apply to you in your um love situation family friendship anything okay so just take what resonates with you but i feel like there's a sense of freedom with the full here uh maybe financial freedom for some of you making more money um that maybe i feel like that extra money Maybe some of you could be planning to uh, travel, to do something. Do something exciting. may not mean travel, something exciting. Because the fool feels like really ex like um, exciting right next to the... I mean, right next to the Queen of Pentacles and the sun here. Something that's going to make you very, very happy. Um, I'm sensing very light energy as well. Maybe it's because there is a sense of stability and security. Maybe it has something to do with your career or your finances. However, if this is a love situation, the sun here can indicate somebody seeing you very clearly for who you are. Perhaps you're embodying the Queen of Pentacles here where you are um, somebody where they value, they feel at home when they're with you they feel very comfortable when they're with you perhaps the fool can indicate this person wanting to have this new beginning with you starting this new journey with you and three of cups here is in reverse ace of cups in reverse for some of you you know the sun can indicate pregnancy and if you're pregnant gemini or your person is pregnant right now i see a very uh, healthy baby I see a very good, smooth delivery. Uh, feels like the sun, the fool here. Finally, the baby is out of the womb. Because the sun and then the queen of pentacles feels like that, that pentacle is like this baby inside her stomach. And then coming out of it, the fool finally, whew, I can breathe now, right? So that's just for some of you. There are a lot of details in these readings. So just take what resonates with you. For some of you, you're just focusing on um, yourself. You're, focus you're focusing on yourself, your um, happiness, and uh, possibly starting a new journey on your own. Because Ace of Cups here is in reverse. This may be an indication of you perhaps rejecting somebody or rejecting love in the meantime and you know, uh, give, giving priorities to something else. The three of cups here, Emma. For some of you, if you have been involved in the body situation, I feel like you may be realizing that you don't need to be in a third party situation. You may be pulling yourself out of that equation because three of wands here is in lover, so you're turning your back on that, right? But it's actually good news, Gemini eight of wands. If this is what you have done or that you are thinking about doing, you know, uh, turning your back on a third party situation. Uh, Spirit's definitely saying, you know, eight of wands is a good sign. That means that's actually that's actually good news. Good news for you. And we've got the lovers here. Excellent choice for turning your back on the third party situation. And ten of swords here as ML first. And then you go through healing and recovery. 
and I feel like the fool can indicate you starting a new journey, right? After turning your back on the situation. Only if, I think only if it's like a third party situation or if you've been dealing with somebody whom has some abuse like alcohol or substance abuse, okay? It's very specific. Again, it's not for all of you. But then, uh, on the other hand, another scenario that I'm seeing here is somebody may be seeing clearly that they don't want other options. They don't want to be part of at all that they don't want you to be a part of the their third party situation they may see your value your worth and then they turn their back on the third party and then they come to you with the eight of wands here and say something to you that's going to make you really happy with the fool here for me this, this may be an indication of this person choosing to be with you unless roles are being reversed here it's you feeling really clear in regards of choosing somebody if you have uh, options and you are kind of indecisive at one point. I feel like you're going to be very happy with a decision that you uh, will be making or you have made. So a few different um, twists <laughs> or different storylines, different scenarios. Just take what resonates with you, Gemini, okay? We're going to see more. Four swords here is in reverse. Five of cups in reverse and the moon in reverse. Again, to me, the moon in reverse is like almost like the sun finally somebody is not going to be that confused anymore just like being very positive with this decision that they are making or will be making four swords here is in reverse five cups in reverse somebody is coming out of their resting mode feeling really restless and really wants to take actions and trying to see the glass half full and it is half empty started suddenly feeling like there's hope in this connection i feel like this could be most likely this is a romantic situation because there are a lot of cups here and the lovers and we've got the nine of swords in reverse three of pentacles in reverse and six of pentacles in reverse hmm. i feel like if you've been worrying about people you work with your money your career you're gonna feel better because now swords in reverse like a stress it's like you're you're relieved from your stress and you start you are going to see start to see there's some hope to improving your situation or hope in uh, perhaps starting something completely new because a fool again can indicate something new a new journey right let's see more Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Emperor, the Hermit here. For some of you, there could be a decision that you will have to make a very serious decision with the Emperor here uh, in regards to your money or your career. Whether you should work for yourself, start your own business, or to continue working for somebody. That's for some of you, because the Hermit here indicates for some of you, you could be um, looking for answers or trying to figure something out here, making a very important decision i definitely sense that for some of you you know the her the the emperor nine of pentacles and reverse and a hermit can, if this has something to do with love it may indicate somebody thinking hey maybe i need to step up maybe i need to be more of a responsible partner if i want to be in a relationship with this person or continue being in a relationship with this person queen of cups is right here if you're dealing with a virgo capcom and no pisces cancer scorpio aries uh, Leo, Aries again, Sagittarius can be any sign, but I'm sensing here that someone, if this is a love situation, somebody may l love you, they may find you to be somebody that maybe they can see um, being committed to the emperor here. But it feels like this person could be thinking long and hard in regards to that. And eventually, also, it feels like. This person is going to gain clarity and see your worth and your value and would possibly end up committing to you, to this connection. Unless this is you, Gemini, unless you are thinking long and hard whether you should commit to somebody or not. But I feel like with the sun here, you are going to see something very clearly and you're going to make a pretty good decision, I uh, I would say, because 801 is right here. For some of you, it's healing a connection that may be going through some issues right now. I sense a successful healing as well. Unless, Gemini, if you're completely single, it does feel like when you go travel or you take new risks and if you're comfortable with yourself, Queen of Pentacles here, 
comfortable with your body as well, with the lovers. Looks like you might be meeting somebody, but how far is it going to go, this connection? If it's a new connection, I don't know yet. Right now, this is the only thing that I'm seeing. This is the only message that I'm seeing. All right, Gemini, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now. This playlist, it says Asia. It's from my second channel, travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And also, I'll leave you with another playlist. It's a bonus compilation reading. Well, it's a mix mixture of everything, but you can just click on it, scroll all the way down, look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Take care, Gemini. Bye.